This variation problem tells us that Charles's law states that if a pressure P stays the same, the volume V of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature T. Okay, so let's let's get that part out first. Okay, so first off, we don't need this pressure P. It's just saying that if pressure P stays the same, this is extraneous information. They're trying to throw you off with this information. Okay, um, so leave that out. What this is really saying is that the volume V of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature T. Volume is directly proportional to temperature. That's what they're really saying. Okay, so let's go on from there. So the steps of these problems, again, are you um, begin by solving for K, and then you use that K to solve for a new value, a uh, new value, I guess this time for volume. Okay, so let's do it. It tells us that, let's see, so here are the two values that we're going to use to solve for K. We have 20 cubic meters and 300 K. If a balloon is filled with 20 cubic meters of a gas at temperature, 300 K, okay, so let's do that. 20 equals K times 300. Okay, now we solve for K. K equals 20 over 30, uh, 300. So this is, we can cancel a zero. Be careful with that. That only works with zeros. 2 over 30, which is 1 15th. Okay, 1 15th there for K. Okay, great. That's a good start. So our new equation is volume equals 1 15th times temperature. Okay, and now this problem is going to ask us to compute something new because that's the way all these variation problems go. And sure enough, it's saying find the new volume. So we want the new volume um, when the temperature is 360 Kelvin. So here we go. Volume equals 1 15th times 360 Toss that into the calculator. Let's see, 360 divided by 15, 24, 24. 24 what? We have to put in the units for volume. Looks like our units for volume. Here we go. Cubic meters, cubic meters, cubic meters. All right, 24 cubic meters. You could also write that as meters cubed, by the way. All right, there we go.